What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys with a relaxer update. Yep, that's what I said. If you guys follow me on my other channel, you already know I went to the store and purchased a relaxer. If you want to know what kind of relaxer that I choose, that I relax my hair with, please feel free to follow me on my other channel. It's titled Walmart Vlog. I will leave the link in the description box below, okay? So, and also my disclaimer is over there as well, just an FYI peep it out anyways y'all um i'm coming at you guys with a relaxer update and showing you guys that my hair is doing a whole lot better now first of all let me explain the way i did my relaxer this time was a little bit different than my previous relaxer which was like a long time ago it took me 10 minutes to get the relaxer all the way through my hair okay outside of those 10 minutes each section um i made sure that my sections i did not go through and smooth them out because i never do that because my hair is text lax um as you can see it's still like kind of got a kinky look to it um kind of like the um the hair that's khaki is it khaki yakky yakky hair yeah so i don't relax my hair bone straight okay what i did is i went and i once i applied my relax and got it all the way through each section i went ahead and i waited and i felt i i went ahead and felt through my hair um the texture that i wanted it to be because i needed to relax this part here a little bit more than um i was doing because i wasn't leaving it on long enough but i still didn't leave it on too long but i just felt my hair until it felt the point that i needed to hurry up and take it out so that's what i did that's why i got this hair a little bit more straighter than leaving my hair uh so puffy on at the root so it's a little bit less puffy than i normally would have it even though it's still not bone straight but i did kind of it's kind of like i did a corrective relaxer because i straightened the parts that wasn't getting as straight as they needed to be um as far as my liking so um also um my hair has grown but i i still have my problem areas um like the same as i did before but they're growing also i will update you guys about that in another video um my biggest problem right now that i'm focusing on right now is going to be my nape area i'm going to come back with another video and show you guys um what i'm talking about as far as my nape area is concerned you guys already saw my nape video and we're gonna grow this nape back out again so my hair won't look so thin in the back okay before i turn around i'm going to tell you guys that yes my hair is kind of like got a see-through area in the back and that's because my nape hair isn't long enough to cover the hair that is there okay a lot of times people will chop their hair off because they say oh it's thin it's see-through in the back what you might need to do is pull the back of your hair up and look at your nape area i'll come to you guys with a couple of more nape videos so you can see what i'm talking about but i'm just going to turn around right quick and show you guys the back of my hair This is what the back of my hair looks like. Um, I do have a limp check t-shirt, but it's not, I'm not going to do an official link check because I'm not on it right now. But if you guys want to look, my hair is not flat out. It's blow dried. It's air dried and blow dried. I don't know what number y'all see, but whatever. Um, but see if y'all can pay attention, close attention to that part that's like see-through right there in the middle and like on the ends and stuff. That does not mean my hair is like need to be cut. I'm going to tell you that now. A lot of y'all might think my hair need to be cut, but it don't. My nape needs to grow. And I don't have to chop my hair off to meet my nape in order for my nape to grow. My nape will grow on its own. Eventually, it's going to catch up or might bypass what I got going on as far as length is concerned. But for right now, I can cut it off. I can cut it off and let it all meet and, and just grow back together. But even if I do cut it off and let it all meet, that's not gonna necessarily mean my hair is gonna grow back together at the same pace and the same length because hair doesn't grow like that. Each individual hair strand grows individually on its own. So you don't know all your hair strands are not meant to be the same exact blunt cut length you know that comes out of your scalp is not it's just not meant to be that way um so anyway i'm gonna focus on my nape area and i'm gonna cover that in another video but i'm gonna comb my hair to the front and let you guys see like the length i know a lot of time you guys like probably say my hair is fuzzy and and all of that because i don't flat iron my hair 
on a regular basis. Um, my hair does not see a flat iron too often because I do like the look of my hair like this. I like it to have that yakky looking texture um, and not a bone straight look. Um, so this is what my hair is doing now. As you guys can see, it still, it's still, it's doing pretty good for me. I've been through a lot. Let me do me. This is my hair on my head, okay? Um, so I'm just coming to y'all to show y'all that update, and that's probably about it, y'all. And um, y'all stick with my channel if y'all want to see me grow my hair. Stay tuned to my future videos because I don't want y'all um nine months down the line saying, How you did that? How did you do that? Keep watching. I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. I promise you that. Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching, and that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holla at y'all later. Bye!